a gold silver i want to give you guys a quick update on the banking crisis that is unfolding in front of us in real time as you know new york community bank is experiencing massive losses and its stock price is taking a huge hit and developments are unfolding pretty much faster than we can make videos to update you guys so what we've done is create a dedicated website a custom url that will track all the latest developments whether they're videos articles, tweets, whatever happens. So I want to give you a quick walkthrough of what that looks like. That way you can stay on top of everything yourselves. If you go to goldsilver.com and you're on the homepage, this URL right here, Markets on Edge, Continuing Coverage of Regional Banking Crisis. If you just click on this, it will open up to a dedicated URL that serves essentially as a news feed. And this URL will be the first link in the description below this video. I recommend you check it out and bookmark it. Come back frequently. We'll update it whenever we have something new. As you can see, it was updated just a couple hours ago with a nice article here and a tweet. Prior to that, uh, less than two hours before that, we have something else. And before that, <laughs> just a few minutes before that. So this is going to be an ongoing news feed where you can check out everything as it happens. For example, Jerome Powell was asked about the commercial real estate sector. He calls it a manageable problem. However, this reminds me of the 2008 global financial crisis when the Federal Reserve chairman said that subprime is contained. Turns out it was not. So could this be uh, a recurring theme? Stay tuned, stay tuned. Definitely check out this URL. Uh, if you aren't sure uh, what's going on with New York Community Bank, basically they have over $84 billion in loans and many of them are going bad. A lot of them are in the real estate sector that has rent control. So that's favorable for the tenants. But of course, that means that it's bad for the bank. They're simply not going to get paid or they won't get paid as much. That means losses. And those losses translate into a plummeting stock price. And if they're not able to maintain positive cash flow, well, the bank fails. So we'll see how this unfolds. Um, you know. Reminds us of what happened last year with Silicon Valley Bank, Signature Bank. So yeah, so if you guys want to stay on top of it, definitely go to this URL. As we have more substantial pieces of news, Mike and I will create long-form videos and bring those to you. But in the meantime, if you want to know what's happening, go to this URL and check it out. So thanks, guys. Stay safe out there.